This is Meridian tonight. The headlines in the south snap unhappy. The motorist on a mission to prove speed cameras are being rendered useless by faulty speed limit signs. Her husband was... Good evening. He's made it his mission to challenge the legality of speed cameras and he's already had some success. Tony Seaton from Rownham's in Hampshire says the signs on the roads into Southampton from the west aren't correct and if the signs aren't right he says you can't be done for speeding. He's already won a court case in Fareham where he got 15 speeding tickets thrown out and says he could find fault in signs just about everywhere. Sally Simmons reports. I have got a strong sense of justice and I, I get annoyed when people use their power to bully you. So Tony Seaton has documented every single fault with the signs between the A35 at Ashurst and Mountbatten Way in Southampton. There's no signs in view at all. Um, we haven't got a camera warning sign. This side road again, this is the dreadful 30 sign going into it. Part of Tony's argument is that some of the signs are so old or badly maintained that they really are hard to make out. The red's not red, the black's not black, and it's not, the light's not working. That's the only sign, so you can go into that road and you're, you're nearly advised that it's a 30, but you're not advised when you come back out that it's a 50. Last year, Tony won a court case to get 15 speeding tickets thrown out for faults in Fareham. He says the rules are clear and the judge agreed with him. And they made a nice new um, signs manual and they published it in September. And it's very easy to follow, really. I'm not a signing expert, and uh, I wouldn't uh, dream of uh, um, uh, talking about faults in the signage uh, because it's quite a complex area. The Safer Roads Partnership say they would never enforce speeding fines where signs are illegal or confusing. But Tony wants all drivers done for speeding along this stretch to get their money back. They, they go to so much effort to catch motorists and punish motorists who haven't even broken a speed limit. The speed limits don't exist if the signs aren't there. I don't think there's any, uh, there'd be any need for people to appeal because, as I say, we would never enforce on a road where the signs were illegal or confusing. Um, that driver who's just pulled out in front of me has got no advice of the speed limit at all. Tony's found similar faults in secret spots all over Southampton. His mission is far from over. Sally Simmons in Southampton for Meridian tonight. It's a real talking point, but has Tony Seaton really uncovered something here? Well, earlier we spoke to Paul Waters from the Hampshire-based Automobile Association, and I began by asking him whether better signs were in everyone's interests, otherwise public money is wasted and the system gets clogged. Yeah, absolutely. It damages the credibility of speed enforcement, and so we do want to make sure that um, you know, cases stack up in the first instance uh, rather than can, than can be challenged. So clearly, good signing is so important. Paul, there's a responsibility on the driver, isn't there, to be aware of the type of road you're driving on. So how much should common sense dictate the speed limit? Well, common sense should dictate speed limits, but um, we do have a lot of variable speed limits around these days. We don't um, rely on sound science anymore. We have kind of environmental speed limits. We have 20 zones. We have slow speed limits in quite a few areas, and that's why signs are so important. Drivers, particularly, I'd say, older drivers who are used to driving with scientific speed limits may find some of the new ones quite challenging, and I'm sure many drivers ask themselves, um, what is the limit here? Because sometimes they forget, and it shows how important signs are to remind drivers what the limit is. There is such a widespread dislike among some people of speed cameras. Not everyone's convinced that they do act as a deterrent. Do you think there's any way that we can make them less controversial? Um, well, our members in surveys say they still support cameras as part of the enforcement armoury um, against speeding. Um, but obviously some people also would like to see more traffic police on the roads so that we're encouraged to slow down rather than sort of penalised every time we marginally break the limit. So um, I think there is still support for cameras, but clearly they have to be credible in the driver's eyes um, and we have to have you know, enforcement that, that stacks up um, in the courts. Do you think there'll still be speed cameras in 20, 30 years' time, Paul? 
Um, perhaps not. There are people who are advocating having cars that are controlled by a digital speed limit map in the sky, as it were, um, so that we can't possibly exceed speed limits. That might help the two or three million people who get penalties every year, um, but some might not like the control of the car being taken away. So it's a long way off yet, but um, some people have that in mind. I'm not so sure. I, I think people will still have control of their car. Paul Waters, thank you very much indeed.